Yo, what's good? Peace, peace. What's going on? What's up, people? What up, family? This your boy, Elevated Ace, and I'm here to pass down information off the knowledge that I resonate with to help those that seek spiritual enlightenment. All right, this video right here is basically going to be a part of my, um, let's see, um, going to be called Play Is Fuck Up Too, all right? And this is going to be a part of my um, testimony, okay? It's going to be a part of my testimony right here, all right? Um, basically, um, you know, first I want to give a shout out, you know what I'm saying, to the uh, subconscious community, you know, shout out to Dolo, uh, you know, uh, the soul group out there, you know what I'm saying, um, shout out to all y'all out there, shout out to all my, um, you know what I'm saying, subscribers and viewers and all of that, you know, most definitely. Now, um, it's been about almost a week since I posted up my last video, and um, like I was saying, it's going to be a part of my testimony series, and um, this one is basically called P Players Fuck Up Too, all right, because, you know what I'm saying, I still have a human vessel, you know, I'm a spirit for the most part, but I still have a human vessel. So I can be influenced in certain ways because I allow my spirit to get to get tangled up in influences. All right. So it's been about a week since I posted something, you know, what I'm saying. Um, so basically is what I'm saying is, you know, what I'm saying I allow my spirit, you know, to get caught up in certain influences that took my spirit into a low vibrational state. You know what I'm saying? Into a low place where I was vibrating on a low frequency. And when I mean a low state, a low vibration, a low frequency is basically that I um I was vibrating. Basically, my thoughts and my consciousness was focused and vibrating on physical things, person, place, or thing. Right? That's vibrating low. Person, place, or thing. You know, especially if it's um vibrating on sexual natures. So when you, you know, get your spirit caught up into influences that's dealing with a lot of sexual impulses, you know, um, also dealing with um, habits, you know what I'm saying? It's mostly about like habits, bad habits as far as, I don't like to get into bad and good, you know, but just habits as far as if you have a habit that you do a lot that takes you to a negative place, right? We all fuck up sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I fuck up, you know, I call myself spiritual, but at the same time, don't get the spiritual thing twisted either, because that's what a lot of people think that people that say that they spiritual is supposed to be holier than thou. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be, you know, going by the Ten Commandments and me not breaking the rules and shit like that. No, that's not the case. All I'm saying is dealing with spirituality just deals with the unknown. Deals with the shit that you can't see, you know. So somebody that's more spiritual than others is somebody that can see more of the things of the of the things that are not visible in this realm right here. That's spiritual, you know. Spiritual. A lot of spiritual people could see things in other dimensions, you know, and have a consciousness of something in other dimensions that you can't physically see here with the two eyes. That's being spiritual. So I don't know about all that other shit, but y'all thinking that we supposed to be some type of saviors and some type of gurus and shit like that. No, that has nothing to do with spirituality, all right? Let's get that shit, um, you know, clear first and foremost. Now, like I said, you know, um, I've got myself and my spirit into things, into situations the way I was vibrating low for a minute, you know what I'm saying? And when I get into shit like that sometimes... It take me a good full week or so sometimes to get my mind back right. You know what I'm saying? So with great power comes great responsibility because every time I choose to put my spirit in the influences that get me on a low vibration, then right now where I'm at mentally, when you know better, you do better. You know what I'm saying? So my consequences be sometimes 10 times harder, you know? So I ended up, you know, I end up manifesting negative situations for myself that be super negative though. You know what I'm saying? That be extra, extra. And it's like, yo... I need to chill the fuck out, bro, because the shit gets crazy sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And I, I had a wild life where, you know, I manifested a lot of bullshit in my life, you know? I don't ever blame it on nothing, you know what I'm saying? Where I'm at spiritually now, I know I put all the blame on myself for the simple fact that I allowed my spirit to even put myself into that situation, you know what I'm saying? So, you know how niggas say blame it on the alcohol and all that? You can't blame shit on the alcohol because... For one, you have to blame yourself for even putting yourself in a position to even fuck with the alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Because basically, you're allowing your thoughts, you know, and you're just like, all right, you're resonating with these thoughts, right? They're connecting to you like, all right, just one drink now. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that you can't drink responsibly and shit. You, you um, convince yourself that you're just going to have two or three drinks and shit like that. And next thing you know, that two or three drinks won't turn to four, five, six, and then you're snowballing and then you're right back into the same place even further even further in the depths now than you was before. You know what I'm saying? So it's not the alcohol that did it. It's the contract that you signed before you started to drink that alcohol. 
So you can't be blaming this shit on the alcohol. You can't be blaming a lot of things on other people and shit like that either. Because as a spirit, right? As a as a soul, right? As a uh, individual spirit, as yourself, right? You make choices in your life to do certain things, and you don't know. Some people that don't know that not spiritually inclined don't know that they're making contracts on a whole nother dimension, fourth, fifth, sixth dimension, in the subconscious before it even gets made solid. So we gotta start, you know, being mindful of the uh, actions and the thoughts that we that we resonate with. Because when you're resonating with negative thoughts, low vibrational thoughts, and you put your spirit into that, right? Because remember, I told you the spirit is no thing, no shape and no form. You know, your spirit is just the closest to the essence of you than anything else. I would say, you know what I'm saying? So your spirit basically likes to experience. It likes to take you know, these shapes and forms and create. We are creators. We create, right? So we create negative situation and negative people in our lives, whether you know it or not. If you got a negative person in your life, you created that person before you even made physical. You signed the contract in the subconscious, the fourth, fifth, sixth dimension. You, you signed that contract, just like with the drinking thing, right? When you was having them thoughts about drinking, you said that I'm, thinking, I'm just going to have one or two drinks. That was you signing the contract in your mind before you even touched the drink. That was the deal that you made right there. Boom. And then you started to drink. And now you are uh, responsible now because you now decided you made a contract to, to put your spirit, which is your shapeless, formless, right, into a situation, right, into an influence because it's an idea. And you, you signed that contract that, okay, two drinks is good. That's signing the contract for a fifth, sixth dimension before you even touch the drink. So you can't even blame it on the alcohol. So whatever happens to you after you start drinking the alcohol, that's a contract that your ass done signed already. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of motherfuckers out here in fucked up situations. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that's vibrating real low, you know? And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to, to help those that seek spiritual enlightenment by passing down the knowledge that I resonate with. So I resonate with certain knowledges, you know what I'm saying, that help me get through these things. But I'm not perfect, though, because I still have a human form. I still have a human body that my spirit is controlling, you know? So we have to be a, 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 a mind, mindful and aware of the powers that be that are going on behind the scenes. So, you know, like I said, it's sometimes it takes me a week, you know what I'm saying? Um, it takes me like a week to get out of, um, you know... My low vibrations when I'm vibrating low and all of that. I do vibrate low sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I allow myself to be influenced. And I allow myself, you know, to get caught up and caught out there. It happens, you know what I'm saying? I'm not afraid to admit it, though. Like I said, even players fuck up, too. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, learn how to see the triggers. You know, learn how to see the thoughts, right? And see what kind of thoughts that you're starting to resonate with before it even... Before it even manifests itself into something physical. Start making choices before you even physically make the choice. You know what I'm saying? So stop. I would say um, just start, you know, um, to connect with your higher thoughts. You know, higher vibrational thoughts. You know, the higher vibrational thoughts is going to get you to think for yourself. Right? The higher vibrational thoughts is going to get you to, to focus on... Not what you have, right? But but what you don't have. It's going to get you to focus on the things that are not physical. That's what your higher thoughts is. Because higher thoughts are taking higher thought forms, right? Those thought forms are lighter in weight because they don't have so much density to them. Because they don't, they're not attached to nothing. Those higher thought forms are not attached to anything physical. That's why we call them high, right? That's why we call them light bodies. Because you can't, don't look, don't look at it. And, and this is something that I learned from Dolo. Don't look at it as just being like light as far as the, the light shine that you can see. Look as far as it as in weight. So a thought can hold weight to it just by all the attachments that a thought might have on it. So when you're vibrating and you're connecting and resonating with, with low vibrational thoughts, you're, you're, you're resonating with spirits that have a lot of attachments to them that are weighing themselves down. So they're going to bring you down with them. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between demons and, you know what I'm saying, angels or angles. You know what I'm saying? A demon to try to get you to to follow his path, and at the same time, he blind as fuck, he following another motherfucker's path, but he not trying to give you the keys yourself to be able to lighten up the load, 
You know what I'm saying? But an angel is going to give you the keys to give you to be able to lighten up that load. High vibrational thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Spirits in a high place are going to get you to lighten up the load. So it's going to get you to let go. It's going to try to get you to let go of shit. Let go of the ego. Let go of the attachments that you have. Let go of you happen to have this, you happen to do that, you happen to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to try to get you to let go of that, to, to um, let go of the weight that you're holding yourself down with. You're drowning in spiritual, you're drowning in, 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 in waters right now that you cannot see. But these waters are influences and the ideas that you decide to resonate with. And you're getting connected to those and you're influenced now, so you're in rotation. When spirits look at you from another dimension, they look at you as light. They see your aura, just an energy. Because right now, your physical body, this is energy. This is the energy portion of it. This is the portion that you're seeing after the frequency and the vibration. The vibration being the soul part of it. The frequency being the spirit part of it. The body, after the two energies come together, the masculine and feminine, then you get the energy portion of it. All right? So... I know, you know what I'm saying, niggas is going through some tough times right now and shit, you know. We're going through some, you know, some ups and downs. You know, you got your high highs and you got your low lows. It happens like that. But just don't never let don't ever let your spirit get lost in the shape and form too long. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever let your spirit get caught and lost into a influence, right? Into a spiral, into a routine. Because then you're spiritually lost. And I don't give a fuck if you're in a routine, is is in a vibration, is in a rotation of happiness. Because sometimes we attach ourselves and want to hold on to that illusion, into that thought form, into that world that we created for ourselves. We want to hold on to it so hard and so much because we, we, we are captivated by it. You know what I'm saying? It inspires us that sometimes we get lost into that. So you can get lost into a positive or a negative type of influence, which is a rotation. All I'm trying to say is being spiritual is try to be as non-biased as you can. So you can take many different forms. Not just that happy form, being lost in happiness, but you're, at, you're able to see when a person is coming at you with some type of a, um, ill will or coming at you with some type of, um, you know, um, his intentions. You can see a person's intentions because you're not lost in the shape or form. You're not lost in this light or you're not blinded by happiness or you're not blinded by love. You're able to truly stand the place of spirituality where you're non-biased at all you know what i'm saying so you're not looking at at it as being bad or good you know what i'm saying you're just seeing positive and negative you're seeing the energy for what it really is and um later on i'm gonna drop the um you know video on y'all dealing with the transits in today's transits and where the planets are at right now that are influencing us i'm gonna build a little bit more on the houses as well because a lot of people, I don't think y'all know exactly what the houses are when I speak about the zodiac houses, which is the first house through the twelfth house, which is which is the uh, which houses the constellations. All right, the houses are the areas of life. That's what the house is. The first house is Aries, right? But the first house gave birth to the constellation Aries. But the first house is a life. It's a life um, house, basically an area of life called the personality. So anything in that dealing with the first house is dealing with the personality regardless. But Aries was just birthed out of that house, the constellation Aries. So Aries identified with that house more. So Aries is, you know, deals with a lot of personal shit. You know what I'm saying? Deals with the self. You know, they can be selfish a lot. You know what I'm saying? And you know how that goes. So I'm going to break it down to houses and all that to y'all later on. But I just wanted to give y'all your testimony and shit. It's been a week, you know what I'm saying? But I'm back now. I'm back in my higher mind. You understand? And um, I look forward to dropping some more video for y'all and helping some of y'all souls and spirits get out of that low vibration. Get about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Detach yourself from whatever fucking rotation that your ass done got lost in. Get the fuck up out of that. And then stay high. Keep that shit high. You understand? Because this is all an illusion. So stop taking this shit so fucking... You know, serious to where you're engulfing your whole spirit and your soul into the whole situation. Reset yourself, like I told you. Go and take a hot fucking shower. Get rid of all them thoughts and all them ne all that negative shit. Wash that shit down the fucking drain and become no thing again. Nothing. No thing. Nothing physical. Become your spirit again. Now I'm biased. Light, nigga, as a motherfucking feather. You know what this shit is, man. It's your boy Elevated. Nigga, I'm out. Peace.